On December 11th, 1958, two men sat in their truck with 20 sticks of dynamite, three detonators, batteries, blasting caps, and electric cable. They proclaimed, this may be our last night in the world. Dear God, give us freedom or give us death. They parked in an entrance under a wooden sign that declared, ye who enter here, enter upon holy ground. Hello, my legend tripping tribe. It's Ricky, and I'm coming to you with a kind of an interesting story. Now, I'm not gonna go into too many details right now, because I have little ears in here, and some of it is gory. We're going to go to Box Canyon, where there is, um, well, it's really close to where the Manson family wound up. But earlier than that, there was a cult called the Fountain of the World. It was run by a man named Krishna Venta. He thought he was Jesus Christ. In 1949, Krishna and 60 followers moved to a 23-acre glen out in Box Canyon. They bought a four-wheel drive tow truck and they helped motorists that were stranded in the canyons. They even helped battle fires in the area when fires came up. However, this sweet array of goodwill crested around 1956 when Krishna Venta was arrested and in prison for failure to pay child support. Krishna Venta was actually Francis Frank Herman Penkovic. He was born to a Jewish immigrant in San Francisco in 1911. He spent the Great Depression as a hobo riding trains under pseudonyms. Frank did spend time in the service, but was arrested at one point for writing threatening letters to President Roosevelt. He did nine months in jail for petty larceny and spent a month at the California State Mental Hospital in Camarillo, California. This gives you a picture of who Venta really was. It also turned out that he made many trips nationwide, often at the expense of the Fountain of the World money. His right-hand man, Gene Shanafelt, was with him most of the time. But more about Gene later, and I do want to talk about him. So confronted with the evidence from this money sham, Venta replied, I am your shepherd. You are the sheep. Ralph Smith Muller and Peter Dumas Kamenoff claimed that Venta was sleeping with both of their wives besides stealing money. This was enough for the two men, and hence, they plotted a bombing. After the smoke cleared, there were at least 10 deaths caused by extreme mutilation, including Krishna Venta and Cardinal Jean. There were some young victims as well. One was a six-month-old baby. Once the bombing was over, under the new leadership of Krishna's widow Ruth, the Fountain of the World rebuilt some of its original buildings, but the post-bombing pretty much destroyed the group. However, near the Fountain of the World compound was the Spawn Ranch, only five miles away. And in 1969, Charles Manson and his followers were plotting a much more sinister version of a cult. Charles Manson visited the Fountain of the World many times and offered to take it over. Uh, no was the answer. <laughs> he was even too weird for that call. By the early 1980s, Krishna Venta's influence had fizzled into other areas. <clears throat> One of his followers named Dorothy Martin, Sister Thedra, moved to Chicago and became the guru for the Seekers, which was a UFO doomsday call. David and Gladys Smith, a married couple, and Irma Winfrey, a cook who had sustained severe burns in the bombing, wound up dying in the jungles of Guyana alongside 900 fellow members of the Jim Jones suicidal People's Temple cult. I'm sure you remember that one. Finally, the most pathetic legacy of the fountain of the world is the Order of Malchizedek, I don't know how to say it, Eom, E-O-O-M. It was set up by some of the fountain veterans, and Eom still reveres Krishna Venta. The website appears to have been active until at least 2013, but may be down to a single member. 
he could be the last remaining disciple of Krishna Venta. Now, I said I would get back to Venta's right-hand man, Gene Shanafelt. About five years ago, Callie Shanafelt made a very brave and important documentary about the Fountain of the World cult. And the documentary was simply called Fountain. Callie is the granddaughter of Gene Shanafelt, who was Venta's right-hand man. Callie's father and his brother grew up in part at that call. I urge you to watch her documentary. It's both moving and incredibly insightful. I'll have a link below. Okay, this is kind of like an odd thing. I don't know for sure. I don't have an actual address. Well, I have an actual address, but I don't. I can't see a number, so I'm gonna walk down here and look. Sure, they get a lot of people coming up here nosing around like me. But that is the religious sign right there. This whole thing was the compound. I don't know where the explosion happened. I think it's down in there somewhere. Probably close to where people lived. I just have a feeling somebody's gonna come out with a shotgun around here. Okay, so that was kind of crazy. I didn't want to get the kids out there because I don't know, people live in there and I'm sure they're used to a lot of nosy people like me coming around and uh, they may not take too kindly. If they're not going to take too kindly to me, that's one thing, but I don't want the kids involved. But so since we're this close, we're only about 5.1 miles from the Spawn Ranch. So let's go. And oddly enough, I've lived here and done legend tripping and all this stuff for so long and I've never been to the Spawn Ranch. I've been close. I've seen it from a distance. Now, it, it's destroyed, so I don't know what we're actually going to see, but I know there's some of the rocks where they took famous photos and things like that. And this is not a Charles Manson piece that I'm doing here. But since we're here, let's go check it out. All right. So we are at the site of the Spawn Ranch. This is where the Spawn Ranch was, for sure. And there's rattlesnakes up here, so you guys really, really need to be careful. There's a very famous photo of the Manson family in the rocks. Oh, okay. Just be safe. It's okay, let's see. This is really tried, like... Let's go that way, see if we can get to that. So, this is the site of the Spawn Ranch. But obviously, nothing's here anymore. Oh, here's these people. You guys find the cave? Like, the cave? Yeah, it was back where you guys were. 
Yeah, I know, but we couldn't get down that slope. I was worried they'd fall. Yeah, you guys are pretty much standing right on top of it. I know. And so when I looked down and started to go, I'm like, she's going to fall. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So I was like, I don't want to do that. So I thought I'd come up here and park and maybe I can catch it this way. No, it's it's way, it's way down there. Near, it's uh, it's all poison away. oak down there. Uh-uh, so. uh-uh. If you park by the church and tell him what the street is and that little off um, the barrier right there that has the barrier is kind of broken uh -huh. and off the freeway and it kind of gives you a path down and you just follow it and take your first left. Yeah. It's right down there. Well, but we did go down where there was somebody spray painted a rock right there about a quarter mile down. Oh, is it this? Let me just say, because this is where we found um, this one you saw. I guess this was the old. The first thing we saw was a big spray painted rock. Yep, I bet. I'm, I'm guaranteeing yeah, that. We took too. a bunch of pictures of it. Is this what you saw? Yeah. So yeah, you're really cool. close. Yeah. Facing this, go to your left. Oh, so you were right there at the yeah, cave. Yeah, and it's right there. Uh, it's literally right to and your And then they got the Manson Rock is right there. The, and then, the yeah, the, where they uh, had and the hammock is all right there. Here's the Manson Rock, and it's all cut away, where it used to say Manson. Um, and then we found the trees right by there where they had the hammock. So look for the, the split off tree here, and then this tree that curves in. Uh, and they're all in the same location. Wow, I know. I'm gonna jump in the truck and I'm gonna pull up to where you guys are, and if I see you, great. Don't stress about it. Oh, no worries, come on. I, have a I want you guys to see everything. All right, cool. Let's do it. All right, thank you. So we're all going together? Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, I think we are going to get there. Oh my God, look at that. Look at those rocks. Whoa. Hey, be really careful. It is. How was there a cave down here? Daddy. I'm so excited for school. Ready? All right, guys, this is the really famous oh Manson Rock right here where yeah, the Manson family did a photo. Like that. Yeah, you could do that. Whoa! Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. No, honey, they're too little. Yeah, it's, it's scary. No, really. It's scary even when you sit down. It looks not scary from here, but it really is. It looks scary from up there. What? That's kind of the story of the fountain of the world cult. If you ever venture out that way, remember to be respectful of the people that are there now and the people in that neighborhood. And same thing if you go to the Charles Manson um, area, the Spawn Ranch, there is a church over there uh, and you gotta be careful along the road. This would be a great time to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the bell so that you're notified when I upload new videos like this. Take care of each other and keep rock alive.